Hello. Hope you're all well. How are you? I'm feeling good. Fantastic to see you all guys. Such a super week last week. I was absolutely blown away with your achievements and how much you've got on this week with all your work and supporting charities was just absolutely amazing. In fact, there was so much good work last week that I've had to record your work separately with Josh this morning. So after this, you'll see another video which really focuses on all the work that you've done. I'm really proud of you, well done guys. And um, some of the highlights this week have got to be all the money raised for children in need. And I think there's around £160 raised and Whitaker led the way with that. Uh, but also there are other groups that fed into that and made our amount really, really fantastic for charity. I think it was around £48 that Clancy raised making cakes, baking cakes, and I heard they were wonderful. Also, we did some work around Remembrance Day, and there were some fantastic examples. And I know that the leadership team that were in during that day were particularly impressed with how you respected those two minutes of silence. So thank you so much for that, and it means a lot. So, a few updates. Firstly, the Duke of Edinburgh Award. And Steve's been looking at the list of people, yeah, the list of kids who, boys and young people, that would like to do it this next year. That's quite a long list, I've just got it here. So the following lads have committed to the Duke of Edinburgh Awards. And those are over three areas, so it's a volunteering, skills and a physical aspect of the award. And that's within three months. And what the lads have to do is they have to choose one of those areas that they'll do for six months. Um, and there's an expedition to organise. Obviously, with circumstances they are with COVID, that will have to be next year, fingers crossed. But the lads will also achieve regular certificates of achievement. So that's fantastic. So these are the lads that have committed. So Bailey, Bailey Keys, Delonte, Riley, JK, Jacob, Nathan, Alfie Stevens, Jack, Harvey Biss, Lavelle, Billy Joe, Danny, Danny Boone, and Joe Murphy. So good luck to you guys, fantastic. So I've been asked to introduce Bertie. And that's because we think that Nightingale might not have met Bertie. So maybe, maybe we want to pick him up from reception for a few days and get to know him. I believe he's having uh, some new clothes made of a blazer and a tie. So you might see that next time. So birthdays. Absolutely delighted that we've got our own birthday cards and other events. So these are the ones that have been made. Fantastic examples. So when it's your birthday, whether you're a member of staff or a student, you'll receive one of these cards. Look at these. Fantastic. All made by your fair hands. And another one. So we're not just celebrating birthdays, we're also looking at other things. So little celebration cards, um, thank you cards. There's another one there. Thank you. Look at this one. Wow. Very creative. And quite a few with Macatan as well. Two of those, fantastic. There's another one. Another one for a nice and colourful one. So welcome to the, all the boys that created those. These cards are going around the country. So what's next? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, birthdays. So we've celebrated a few birthdays over the last few couple of weeks. So I'm going to say a happy birthday to Mrs. Kwan, Jacob, and then this week, Josh Osborne, Harvey O'Flynn, Alex Sumner, Finlay, Dan James, Charlotte Goodwin, and Rochelle. So, birthday to you guys. Have a fun time. Right, you know I like to share with you books that I'm reading, and I'm delighted that I've got this set of books. Uh, yeah, three books, and it's called Ultimate Weird But True. Just my thing. 
things that are really, really crazy, but actually factual, real truth in these. There's three books. I'll show you those now. And hopefully you can see them on the camera. I'm going to share just a little snippet from them now. So I'm just find my page. This one's a really good one. There's so many exciting things to tell you about. So this is the first one. Can you see the photo, see the picture there? So it says, this mouse hitched a ride on a frog's back to escape a flooded street in India. Wow, have you seen that? And a couple of facts, it says, frogs drink through their skin. And also, when mice swim, they use their tails like motors to propel them in the water. Wow. And then another page, just one more. It's a really good book, really, really good book. In fact, if any learning groups bubbles want to borrow, um, you can, as long as we treat them with respect and put them in a cupboard for a couple of days before we use them and return them. So this is weird ways to get around. And if you see the top one there, it's a high heel shoe and somebody's made um, a bit of a vehicle out of that. It says um, it's made out of spare motorcycle parts. And Fifi, Fifi the Poodle, is a 13 foot tall, 13 foot tall, that's four meters, and it weighs 1,500 pounds, but that's equal to 680 kilos. So this poodle can travel on land, water, and through mud. This one here, the top bun of this hamburger Harley, look at that, wow. It flips open for easy access to the driver's seat. And then what else have we got? Look at this one. Um, this one, so look. Even part of this mono wheel from the handlebars to the engine sits inside a giant wheel made from motorcycle tires. Look at that, amazing. So I'm gonna be sharing some of those with you this next week as well. So we've got students of the week from last week to celebrate. And then after the break, we can have a look at a couple of the videos. So we've got on the videos, we've got Magic Allen and we've got Matt doing some guitar, guitar skills. So we will do this last week's now and we'll do students of the week this week after the break. So in Bronte and Hockney, that was awarded to Kai for a good start to the half term using his listening skills and communicating well with staff taking on board advice and acting on it. How important is that? You know, we all have difficulties from time to time, but it's about how we work through them that really matters. Well done, Kai. And then we have, in Larry and Browntree, we have Lucas Johnson for completing amazing work in class and coping with change. Well done, Lucas. In Mozart and Sheeran, we have Leland for returning in a positive, mature manner supporting the boys and producing some outstanding work in topic around the gunpowder plot, participating well in outdoor ed and learning new sounds in phonics. Wow, what a week. In Mozart and Sheeran, Callum, Callum Rawson, for a positive first week back, beginning to respond well to routines in house and showing improvement on his independent skills. Fantastic, well done Callum. And in Newton Priestley, the award goes to Nathan, it's fantastic to see Nath, for returning to school after half term, also sleeping over and engaging well with the other boys. He's communicated well these last few days. Well done. In Adams, the award went to Delonte for settling into a new bubble and completing his maths work. Well done, Delonte, for reacting really well to that change. And in Nightingale, the award went to Tyler for excellent contribution during maths work. Fantastic, well done Tyler. In Clancy, the work was fantastic also, but this week's winner went to Tyler the award for overcoming his anxieties about returning to school and settling back to school routines with maturity. Fantastic show, well done Tyler. In Whitaker, the award went to Charlie for settling down well after half term and completed all of his work. Well done, Charlie. In Best, the awards went to, oh, it went to Harry, Harry Eastwood, for communicating verbally with a variety of staff 
are participating in different activities. Brilliant. Well done, Harry. And in Boothroyd, the award went to Kai for engaging with staff in our new setting at Boothroyd and completing assigned tasks when instructed to do so. Mm -hmm. Well done, Kai. Fantastic. So before we break, I'm very pleased with this. And this is an award, a silver award, and it goes to Spencer. Well done, Spencer. I know you've had a certificate um, at home, but let's read out what Mr Talbot says about your social progress. So, Spencer has produced a comprehensive file of evidence towards his silver, and he consistently shows silver level behaviour across a wide range of settings. Spencer can be trusted by staff and is a fantastic role model in school and in house. He has dealt with lots of changes recently, quite maturely, and can now talk through issues and concerns with his key members of staff. He's always setting an example within the classroom and has fantastic learning behaviours and always applies himself to his learning. He has an amazing sense of humour, we know that, and always makes others laugh. Compared to the young man who came to us, Spencer has become resilient, more emotionally literate, and has widened his peer group at William Henry. Spencer has had his own book published this year because he wants to help other boys who have been through the same difficulties that he has faced. This is a huge achievement for him and shows how far he's come in understanding himself and others. Miss Carr has sent me lots of evidence and this quote sums up your progress nicely. It's been a pleasure to see him grow so much as an individual and find the confidence in being himself. I'm sure gold level will be a sight in no time. Well done, Spencer. Simply awesome. So that's Spencer moving up to silver. And make sure you get your uniform into laundry and also your badges, Spencer, because I saw that you more mentioned that over the weekend. So well done, guys, and see you in a few minutes. Morning, everyone. I was going to make this part of my assembly, but I couldn't believe the amount of work that you boys have done this week. Absolutely fantastic. And such a great atmosphere around the place. So I wanted to share a little bit with you. Firstly, Hargreaves, they've been working on making Mr. Men. Some great examples of these. I'm going to show you all these now. Wonderful bits of artwork. Wonderful. Go, it's another one there. Fantastic one. And another one. Look at this one. Wow. Wow, one more. I'll show you this one too. Oh, well done to Hargreaves, boys. Some fantastic examples of Mr. Men. Okay, let's move on to Whitaker. And they've been really busy too. So, their task, their design brief was. To make a model of WW so World War One trench using a shoebox, you will be able to work in pairs, and so decisions will have to be made as a team. The trench must have the following features: a ladder, a firing step, sandbags, duck boards, trench supports, barbed wire, and dugouts for men to live in. So this is what they came up with. And James, Riley, Bailey, Bailey and Charlie made these. Some fantastic examples, if you can see that one. Yeah, look how real life this one is. Wow. Moving on. Another fantastic design. Look at the ladder going up here. Oh, look at this one. Another very creative one. Very, very creative. It's got some uh, it's got some bunk beds in there and some fantastic ladder and something there made out of corks. Great example. And then this one. Another great example with a ladder, a bit of a li living space. Fantastic job. Well done, boys. So moving on to Nightingale. Look at this they made. Wow, look at that, it's fantastic, isn't it? They've been working really hard and doing lots of playing also. So there's some photographs here of them at work. Just put one see up there. Share a few photographs. Yeah. 
Oh, really at hard work this week, hard briefs and Nightingale, Sheeran, the whole lot and Whitaker. And the last one from Nightingale. Well done boys, fantastic job. I really must be sharing this with you because these boys have been working really hard to do our written work. So the challenge was for Caden in his class and it says find somewhere new and exciting outside to read your book. Make sure you take a picture. And this is Caden in the new reading chairs. Wow. Caden has had a busy week, some great writing there, and some descriptions, and some work around the gunpowder plot. And Harvey, look at this work, some fantastic photographs. Here we go. Thoroughly enjoyed reading all these this morning. And then on to Alex. Alex has been designing Remembrance Day painting, look at that. Big smile as usual, Alex. And Dylan, look at Dylan. Working really hard. Dylan's there uh, decorating and designing a poppy for Remembrance Day. Here it is. Wow. Leland, what's Leland been up to? He's been doing some Rem Remembrance Day painting also. Looks like he's having some good fun there. And then our birthday boy, Callum. Here he is. Showing off his work. And also with a photo with Caden some recent remembrance day work fantastic job so well done to all those boys and every bit of work that i've shared with you today every boy will receive 10 learning tokens so get those on your charts look forward to seeing some great work next week see you soon hey fellas so today we're going to do a little rope magic three bits of rope one red, one blue, one white. Let's get rid of the red end. Let's get rid of the blue end. So now I've got me white and red, which I'm actually going to tie a knot in. There you go. And I'm going to tie a knot in the blue and white one. Like that. So then what we're going to do, start with the red end. I'm going to wrap the rope around my hand like so then because all good magic tricks need a wand I'm going to tap the rope with my wand and now we've got one continuous piece of rope there you go that's your moment of mystery Good morning, I hope you're all okay and I hope you had a wonderful two weeks off. It's great to be back, it's great to see you all again. Today we're going to be learning another guitar chord. We're going to be learning how to play an A major chord. Now an A major chord is really easy. We're going to use five of our strings. The only string we're not going to use is our bottom E string. And we're going to use our first three fingers. Our fingers are just going to go in a line along the second fret. So we're going to put our first finger on the second fret on the D string our second finger on the second fret on the G string and our third finger on the second fret on the B string and we're just going to strum down from the A string like this and that's how you play an A chord I'll see you all next week, have a good week Okay, on to students of the week for this week. So in Bronte, 
and hopefully the award went to Gregory for having an amazing week and settling in really well, forming new relationships with the other boys and engaging well in all activities, especially the Couch to 5K Challenge. Ooh, that sounds really exciting. Where he was really enthusiastic. And in Lowry and Roundtree, the award went to Stephen, Stephen Mulcahy, for attending his horse riding session and continuing to build relationships with all those supporting him. Well done to Stephen. In Mozart and Sheeran, the award went to Harvey for a really positive week and learning new skills such as the playing pool. In Newton and Priestley, the award went to Harvey Bissell. Harvey has engaged really well in education this week, even getting stuck into some GCSE work. Well done, Harvey. He has also worked really well on his own well-being, going for short walks on an evening and accessing three personal training sessions. Ooh, that almost beats me there, Harvey. Along with this, he's also been offering the other boys in the bubble lots of positive support. And I know that you may be working on your platinum, so good luck with that, Harvey. In Hargreaves, the award went to Alfie for being responsible around the classroom and putting lots of effort into all his classwork this week. Well done, Harvey. You're coming on loads. Well done. And in Adams, this is another one, great one to see, the award went to Riley for completing his maths work and attending maths intervention with Mrs. Randella. Wow. I know she was really impressed, actually, with the boys that she tutored that day. And in Nightingale, the award went to Zeham and for, was it for, yeah, for engaging well with the majority of his schoolwork. Well done there. And in Clancy, the award went to Rayham. Rayhan has shown a very positive attitude to school and his learning this week. He's worked hard to complete tasks on the topic of World War I and Harvest's Day. Ray has excelled in baking this week, making biscuits and buns to sell and raise money for children in need. Well done there, Rayhan. In Whitaker, the award went to Bailey for showing maturity both inside and outside the classroom and avoiding confrontations with other boys. That's important. And in Best, the award went to Harry for being able to share the same working space and for becoming good friends. It's fantastic seeing the relationship between two boys really develop. Well done there, Harry. Harry, sorry. And in Best, oh, this one went with that one as well. They also, the award went to Charlie for being able to share the same working space, obviously with Harry. So well done. Um, it's a fantastic relationship being embedded between you boys, well done. And in Boothroyd, the award went to Cameron for turning his week around and successfully completing a variety of activities of his new base at Boothroyd. Very well done to Cameron, good show. Okay, that's almost it for me this week. I have just two more things. Firstly, the red bucket. I'm going to draw out five tickets, as we've become accustomed to. And the first one, oh, George. So that goes to you, George. The prize will be in reception later on today, hopefully. And the second one went, goes to Caden. Well done, Caden. And this one is Harvey, Harvey O'Flynn. Got a big dig down here, get a couple more. Oh, and one for Sibby. And one for Daniel Poon. Okay, so hopefully Miss Randall will sort those out and there will be some little prizes in reception over the next couple of days, maybe even today. So before we go, a couple of jokes. I know you love these. What do you call two birds in love? Tweet hearts. See, hear the laughter. And second one, what is a computer's favorite snack? Computer chips. So guys, work hard this week. Work hard to understand each other. Yeah, big effort. Um, and keep on going as you're going because you're doing a great job. Well done. And thanks to the members of staff. See you next week.